friends once again probably my hope that you are okay you are doing fine over this weekend as normal as usual have been uploading relevant research related concepts which is under the title that we have uh, research and techniques and the last session i uploaded to you some aspect related to the elements of the research proposal the plan of research and I said within the proposal, we are having these three important chapters. The chapter one, which is introduction. The chapter two, which is the literature review. And the chapter three, which is the research methodology. And I said within the chapter one, there are some subsections. One of it is the background introduction. We'll have the, the statement of the problems. Then we go for the research objectives and then research questions and then we go to the other theories as it is, it is in research. Therefore, as I said that the, my, my uploading video will be a sequential kind of, of video that will be describing from the early stages of research to the last stages of research, from the beginning of research to the last stages of research, which is about reporting and whatever. And then the last session I did on the background introduction of the research, of which I insisted mostly on the how on how we like the background information, particularly with issues related to the reflection of the problems of which you are going to make a study. And I said within the background, this is the point from which you are now making an attractive styles for the reader because the reader will get attracted from the good introductory, the good background of your research. Today, I am going to give you an important aspect related on how do we write a problem statement. And this is one of the very important, logical, and most confusing part of you, of most of us researchers and the junior researchers. This problem statement, how do we state? What are the types of this? How do we write a statement of the problems? What are the different styles of the problem statement? How can we write it? And within which I will give you some hypothetical examples from which will be in a good position to understand that, okay, when I am asked to write the statement of the problems, what things should I consider? What are the important parameters of which should, should appear on that particular section? There are three to almost four important sections in the statement of the problem. What are those things? How are they appears? What are the elements under which they are required? Be confident we are going to think simply today. Yes, as I said, today we are going to discuss mostly on the research problem statements. And at today's topic, we'll be looking particularly on what the research problem statement is, what are the parts of the research problem statements, meaning what are the components that one should consider while constructing a research problem statement. And we are going to see the writing styles of the research problem statement. And at the end of the day, I will give you some hypothetical examples on how a research problem statement can be approved. But remember, research is a cyclic phenomenon of which each and every part of the research is depend each other. While you formulating the the search topic, then we will have the research title, title. From the research title, we will have the objectives, and from the objective, we will have this the the specific, the, the general and the specific objective. And from those, we will have the research question or research hypothesis based on what selectivity you are interested to work. And then you will go to the methodology. The methodology that will be taken for data analysis will be reflected from the, method, the, the, question, the, the research objectives. Therefore, research is a cycle. So it's better you follow these links from the previous video today. 
to the next series in order that we'll be in the position to understand and follow the series as normal. You can also follow me through YouTube. You go direct in normal YouTube as you normally watch other videos. In there, you type the word research techniques and the concepts by Marunguja. Then after which you will be in the position to follow the last series that I have been uh, uploaded. As I said, I am from Bayer University of Science and Technology, which is one of the biggest universities related to issues of engineering and technology in Tanzania. And currently I am doing my PhD in the Tezpa University, which is located in the northeast part of India. All right, then let's see what's today's presentation. Anyway, before we go describing what, then what is the problem statement? Generally, while stating the problem statement, it, this, it varies depending on the types and approach of the given research. But generally, the research statement problem, this is simply a statement, whether in a paragraph or in a statemental style, which clearly show or the, the clearly set the specific directions of the research work. It tells what is known or what is less known or what is not known, but you are able to make them know. It states what exactly you want to accomplish in your research. And it show it should be feasible and it shows clear indicative of this gap. It is the statement of the problem that shows the gap of knowledge of which now you are required to fail. That's why I said if on the last session that at the background in introduction, you should highlight some aspect indicating the point of interest. Why are you intending to kill out that particular research? What is the gap in, in, in between of which you need to make your study? Then, this is a very, very important part of today's discussion. That what are the important part of the problem statement? While writing or stating the, the problem statement of the research, what are the important sections that should appear on the, on the paragraphs? Generally, the research problem statement, it included four main important parts. It has an introductory remark. It has a speculative statement. It has a gap-showing statement, and it has a gap-solving statement. The introductory remark, this is the point from which you are now trying to, to give out a, an explanatory related issues regarding your topic on which you are going to start. It will be almost two to, to three sentences that will just give a simple introductory of the problems. It should not be a storytelling, right? You'll be so specific to a point of interest. A speculative statement. This is a section within the statement of the problems which will highlight the important findings from other scholars, from other works, from other researchers. What are the important findings, what the, 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 the information which is known from the other, the contribution from the other scholars. It is this section where you give some data, information of all related to the point of interest from which we are going to discuss or to, to make a study. What others has made? What is the contribution behind that? What is the data which is available? What is the information which is available regarding that particular area of the study? And then after which you go for the gap showing statement because under speculative statement you will be giving information that the, the information about this and this and this are, 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 are well known 
studies by whom and by somebody and somebody has in, in narrated, has pointed out, has reported on one, two, three. However, there are some information in which are not yet well speculated and therefore they are missing in some literature. So while restating those things, that is a gap showing statement such that you can speak of the scarce information exists on this and this and this. Rest is known on one, two, three. And this and this is still a diamond in a rough that you need uh, to make it well, good and known to the public. After you have shown this, the gap showing statement, then you go to a gap solving statement. And that section is the point where a researcher is trying to tell now because of that problem, because of this gap, what are you going to do to to, to broad some new findings in order that the, the hypothesis gaps is now in the position that it has some points and some finding that it is no longer a problem. So gap solving statement that are statement that, for example, we find that the current work is expected to do one, two, three, is expected to explore information on this. So the finding of the current or the proposed work will bridge the existing gap on this and this and this. Therefore, these are some four important parameters that should be involved while writing the problem statement. And good enough, I'm going to give you a practice core example, a practical scenarios, which is under hypothetical situation that will be in the position to conceptualize how this four important section should be included in the research while restating the research problem statements. And there are different styles on how we can write this research statement problems. We have the so-called sequential writing style. We have what we call the author resting writing style. And we have which we call questioning asking writing style. And many other more styles of which one can use while writing a statement of the problems. And I will go on to show you one after the other, particularly this sequential writing style and the author resting writing styles. Because these are the common ones that I usually prefer to use while I'm writing my statement of the problems. Yeah. Taking an example from these hypothetical examples, when we speak of the hypothetical examples, meaning it is just an example that I had formulated for the intention of understanding. However, this is not the true data that you can find it and uh, come up with some finding. It's just for uh, an, an, an understanding. Therefore, taking an example of a study on purification of water using traditional available materials. This is a uh, hypothetical uh, topic of interest. Then I will show you that it will have an introductory sections, the speculative statement and the other sections of the statement of the problem. The introductory section is on regarding this particular aspect is plant related materials that that are locally available has demonstrated a great potential as the antibacterial and water impurity remover and several studies has reported the contribution made by such materials in water purification for example a study by azaria and fenston 2016 recognized the use of aroe vela as antibacterial reagent in water forest at all 2018 reported plant species under the genus Jatrova could be effective at alternative water purification method. Sere and Face Maganga 2010 highlighted the importance of sugarcane juices when dissolved in water with a slight addition of sodium hydroxide portrayed an ever, uh, ever expected result 
over synthetic chemicals. On the other hand, Ndaki and the Mwarongo, 1998, demonstrated the applicability of dried guava mixed with kitchen ashes and uh, avocado peels as the anti-dust in water purification. Similarly, Gideon and uh, Trazias, 2016, generalized a mathematical model showing the applicability of traditional trees on species safety water purification flow. Furthermore, Flora and Matete, in the work entitled Recycling Students' Mindset on Traditional Materials of 2017, this is the unpublished. However, scarce information exists on the role of tomato peels as an important material from removing water-related adsorbents despite its adsorptive characteristic than the former stated reagents. Therefore, the proposed study or intense or aim at intensifying or intensively analyzing the chemical contributions of tomato peels as an antibacterial and anti-dust hence water purifying agent. Therefore, from this particular synthesis, it is the statement of the problem that has highlighted all the four sections, that there is an introductory section, there is a, 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 another section which gives the information or data that has already documented by other researchers or other scholars, of which that is a speculative part of the of the the statement of problem and then after which you go to the statement of the gap showing statement which is now starting with the statement that however scarce the information exists on one what do you see after which you go to the gap solving intentions then what are you going to do now to come up with a new finding? Therefore, you find this statement. Therefore, they propose this study aimed at doing one, two, three. Therefore, from here, within a single paragraph, we can, we can find the four parts of the problem statement. So, using these hypothetical examples, number one, as this is now a sequential style of writing the statement of the problem. Now, let me show you another example, which is a author resting style. Under the author resting style, is, it's now different, it is slightly different from the former, because under these styles, you are going simply to rest the authors that has been done a particular work in relation to the work of which you are going to deal. And where you just simply rest them without giving what the competition they had. It will be that the role of the reader to find out those particular document and read and find what they did. For instance, here you will have the introduction section is normal that the plant related materials that are locally available has demonstrated a great potential as antibacterial and water impurities remover. And several studies has carried out and reported the contribution made by it by extract of the rock available materials for the cheap and the safe water purification process. That is an introduction. Then you go for the speculative statement under author listing style. So the available literature is limited to, you see, the available literature is limited to, you simply list the literature that has worked on that particular point of your interest. Limited to Azaria and Fenson, 2016, Fares et al., 2018, Sere and Faith Maganga, 2010, Ndaki and the Mwarongo, 1998, Gideon and Trazias, 2016, Flora and Matete, 2017. Then, 
under this particular scenario, it is the role of the reader that he will find this particular eight course or the journal or the paper or the book and read and find what was it in that particular paper. For you, you got directly for the the problem telling statement after you have given the speculative statement. Despite of this information given by these scholars, unfortunately, researchers have rest investigated to uncover aspects related to the role of the tomato peels as an important traditional materials for the removal of water-related contaminant as an antibacterial agent. Therefore, the proposed study will bridge the existing gap in knowledge. So, from this author writing, uh, listing, writing styles of the problem statement, you can find how it differs from how the former, the former which is sequential writing styles of the research. Mm, okay. Then, after which I would like you to say thank you for your uh, cooperation. Thank you. Welcome for the next series and the next sessions. But as I said the, from the beginning, because this is a sequential kind of a presentation, you need to follow from the first topic to the last one because I started from the first processes of research from which I gave you some information related to how do we formulate the problems, how do we use the, 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 the huge, the, the, the broader idea and narrow it into a specific topic. And from that specific topic, we come up with the specific title and from the title we come up with our objective and from the objective then we are now moving with the proposal, after um, well, the proposal is over, we go for the, how do we like the thesis? And then after the thesis, and then we go on, how do we communicate our findings to the other important parameters? Follow me on YouTube as normal, type search concept, and it's by Marungo Chan, because this is very important sharing of information because we are trying under this video research concept we are trying to to share some aspect of which they bring some con contradiction and ideas of which they provide some difficultness in this related aspects. Hopefully you have been enjoying with today's presentation. Hopefully, I am requesting you to subscribe, comment, and share for my YouTube and wait for the next series. I am expecting to explain more on the, the, the search questions, search statements, how do we do it, other things. Thank you. Goodbye.